My name is Kishmani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishmani. We are here because we want to learn some math. Today we will discuss. Today is our lesson number 31st, by the way. And today we will discuss the notion of the tenths and the fifths. We'll talk about their their fraction form as as, they, as you see on the blackboard, the equivalent decimals, and then the percentages. The equivalent decimals, and then finally the percentages. So let's begin. One tenth in the decimal form is just 0.1, 2 over 10, 2 tenths is 0.2, 3 tenths is 0.3, 4 tenths is 0.4, 5 tenths is 0.5, 6 tenths is 0.6, so far so good, 0.7. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 10 over 10 is just 1. And the percentage form, they are simply 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 70%, 70%, and 80%, 90%, and finally the 100 percent. The, the question here is, question here is, what was the bloody point of all this thing? This is too simple. Everybody knows the tenths. Everybody knows the tenth and yet sometimes I have found that students have difficulty figuring out their fifths. That's because they try to memorize them. Don't try to memorize your fifths. If you know your tenths, if you know your tenths, listen carefully, if you know your tenths, you know your fifths. There is no difference at all. For example, one tenth, how can we reduce one tenth? One tenth cannot be reduced. One tenth is just one tenth. It cannot be reduced any further. The next we have is two tenth. If you were to reduce two tenth, two over ten, if you divide the top and bottom by two, if you divide the top and bottom by two, two tenths reduces to one fifth. So if you know, if you know that two tenth is twenty percent, then one fifth is also twenty percent, because one fifth is just a reduced form of two tenth, which is point two which is 20%. So if you have trouble figuring it out what, what the fifth is, your job, if you have trouble, if you have trouble figuring out what, what, what one fifth is, your job is to ask yourself, how can I quickly convert the bottom into 10? How can I convert the bottom into a 10? We have a 5 here. If you want to multiply the bottom by 5, if you want to multiply the bottom by 2, 5 times 2, now it becomes 10. When we multiply the bottom by 2, we must multiply the top by 2. There you go. So now it's one times two which is two and five times two which is ten you have your two tenth and of course you know your two tenth everybody knows two tenth is point two which is twenty percent three tenth is going to remain twenty three tenth it cannot be reduced what about four tenth same exact thing four tenth can be reduced to two fifth four tenth can be reduced to two fifth and finally and therefore we realize that two fifth two fifth is simply point four which is forty percent because two fifths is no different than four tenths. If we have two fifths, if we have two fifths, and we want to convert the bottom into a tenth, because we know our tenths, if we want to convert the bottom into a tenth, multiply the top and bottom by two, which is perfectly okay to do. Which is perfectly okay to do. You can take any fraction at all, any fraction at all, and as long as you multiply the top and bottom by the same number, we are essentially multiplying two fifths by one, and multiplying any number by one does not change its value. So two fifths is still two fifths. It's just now is two times two, which is four over ten. And of course now we know that it is 0.4. Don't memorize them. Two fifths is just four tenths. Let's continue. Five tenths is very straightforward. Of course, if you reduce it, it becomes a half. And everybody knows that half is 0.5 or 50 percent. Three fifths. There you go. There is your three fifths. Six over ten. It's going to if you reduce it, it becomes three fifths. And three fifths is 60 percent. 7 tenths is going to remain 7 tenths, it's not, it cannot be reduced. 4 tenths can be reduced to 4 fifths. 9 tenths is going to remain 9 tenths, and 10 over 10 is just 1. 1 is 100%. So what do we want to get out of it? What we want to get out of it, what, I want, what we want to get out of uh, the whole exercise is uh, are our fifths. Four of them. Four of them. Four fifths, right here. Or rather, one, one fifth, which is 20%. One fifth, which is 20%. Two fifth, which we just found out is 0.4 or 40%. Three fifth, 
which is same as 0.6 or 60%, and finally 4 fifths, which is same as 0.8, it is same as 0.8 because 4 fifths, 4 fifths is same as, same as 8 tenth. If we have our 4 fifth, if we have our 4 fifth, we multiply the top and bottom by 2, we end up with 8 tenth. And 8 tenth is same as 0.8, which of course is 80%. And that's it, we're done. Learning the fifth is no different than learning the tenths. Do you understand? Bye now.